Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, it's Thursday night, it's like 20 to eight, and I haven't posted a video in over two weeks. Here's why, and I'm gonna do this as fast as I can because I just rambled on, and I've also shot a video like this probably like 10 times in the past three weeks. So, here we go. I had surgery, still got the stitches, they haven't gone away yet. Of course, it hasn't been that long. They're bugging the shit out of me. Can't wait till they go away. I also fell down the steps, either dislocated or broke my toe, don't know. It's been a couple of weeks for that. And it is finally to a point where unless I take it and bend it and try to stretch it out, it doesn't hurt. A couple of days ago, after my friend left and I was trying to get some maintenance done on the Forerunner, I got to take my antenna off the roof because I have a CB antenna. And I went up there and I reached over and I started unscrewing it and my back seized. So that pretty much put me on the ground for, for at least that day because the chiropractor wasn't open. And then I went yesterday I was already better because I knew it was coming and I stopped it before it got too bad. And I did all the stretches and the exercises and rolling out and all that kind of shit and stopped, stopped it from being as horrible as it has been in the past. So went and got that fixed yesterday, going back tomorrow to cement the fix and make sure everything is right and straight. Um, then today I ended up getting an ocular migraine while I was waiting for maintenance to be done on my forerunner. So yeah, when it rains, it pours. It's just constant of my life. I have had an overabundance of day job shit to do that I've been doing and, and getting shit done, getting better, still got a ways to go, but I at least feel a little bit more comfortable. I have also realized that switching from the old team to this team, this team, there's a lot more work involved, but that's commensurate with how much money I can make. So, you know, here we go. Um, other than that, my friend Kendall came uh, last Wednesday and stayed until this past Monday and we shot over seven, 800 pictures over a course of two or three photo shoots inside and outside. And we got some amazing stuff. And she was completely thrilled with, with what she had intended to get when she came here. And I was thrilled and we had a great time together. It sent me down a direction that made me realize what gear I wanted to keep and what gear I wanted to get rid of. So I got rid of a bunch of gear. Well, I sold the A7R4, a couple of lenses, the grip, shit like that to MPB and KEH and they receive the gear today and they'll get back to me and tell me, you know, give me my money after they go through it all. That's fantastic. So now I have the A7 IV, the FX30 and my X-T4. I have pared down my gear now and this is after a couple of years of buying a bunch of shit and getting rid of stuff and buying other stuff blah, 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 blah. And here we are. So uh, I have my collection pared down to actually what I use, not what I want but I have exactly what I use. And I got rid of stuff that I ha just haven't used over the past year or two. Not buying any new cameras. At one point I thought that I was gonna sell the R4 and the 4 to get the R5. And after shooting with Kendall, realized I absolutely do not need that R5. The 4 is perfect for me, for everything that I do. Birding, and then anything else that I could possibly do. And the fun walk around is the X-T4. And then the FX30 is just for filming. So that's that. I am going to be going home to help my father with his cancer treatment for the first two weeks of April. So I'm trying to get as much shit taken care of here now with day job and around the house. Normally every May around her birthday, we get the, the little, what do they call them? Sugar ants, the little dink, dinky ants. We overrun with those ants and we're running around squirting and spraying all the 409, the alumni shit that kills them on contact, which is kind of frightening and cleaning up all, you know, the entire kitchen and everything, um, we got them when Kendall was here. It's like two months early. So freaking out, and I've been cleaning every day and pulling the stove out and this, that, and the other thing. And I finally, I got a, a couple of different kinds of, of poisons. Um, I got some gel, which finally came in today and I gelled inside and out. And then I have this other shit that you dilute and you put into a sprayer and you spray outside and that's supposed to get rid of mosquitoes and all kinds of shit. So I'm going to spray that crap out of that, but it's not going to be here until next week. So try to hopefully get that done before I leave for my dad's. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to keep going on here cause I'm already at six minutes and I don't want this to be too long, but that's pretty much what's been going on for the past three weeks. Um, I've either been hurting myself, getting hurt, having weird shit happen to me, or I've been doing day job somewhere in there doing some fun shit. So I want to thank my friend Kendall for actually flying here from Chicago and having a great time. We haven't seen each other in 10 years and uh, it was perfect way for us both 
to get back into the the photo stuff because she hasn't been in front of a camera for a while and I haven't been behind one for a while shooting a human being because everybody flakes on me. So thanks Kendall for not flaking and uh, helping me understand what gear I need or want and don't want and for selling it. Okay, so that's it. I, I'm not gonna ramble on. The video I shot right before this was over 18 minutes before I realized how much I had talked. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.